All right, guys, we're back with another tutorial. This is where we <clears throat> left off last time um, with this wireframe. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff over here. Um, so I'm just gonna start by kind of opening up and some of the layers and locking down all of them. <clears throat> and I'm um, gonna create a new sculpting layer to kind of um, start sculpting my massing. I'm gonna call it massing just because, you know, I'm generic like that, but yeah. Um, you could call it anything you want. Um, yeah. Um, gonna speed this up a little bit um, to where it's a little bit more interesting. I'll meet you guys in a bit. All right, I'm back. So I decided to use the generic cube. I thought it would be a nice um, way to kind of start massing out these things. I tested it out with a um, few other objects, but the cubes still, I think, seem like the best uh, starting point. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so you see me here kind of just uh, extruding all these cubes and kind of blocking out the mass. It doesn't really matter how how it looks right now because we're going to be cutting into it and shaping it into the form that we want. And uh, yeah, so I'll meet you guys back in a bit. All right, this is the monstrosity I have arrived at. Um, but don't worry too much about the looks of it. It'll turn out much better uh, once we start cutting into uh, the shape of the wireframe that we did in the first episode. Um, yeah, anyways, this is just me cutting into the shape and shaping it towards um, uh, the wireframe. Anyways, meet you guys back once I'm done cutting into it. Alright, so this is where we've um, left off. 
Um, I'm kind of done with the massing, so now I'm just kind of decking out the details for these outer walls. Um, you saw me a little bit at the end testing out uh, what kind of brushes look good. Um, I ended up using this brush. Um, I, I thought the details on it looked really nice. Um, but yeah, um, so that's kind of what I'll be doing, like um, mainly surface articulation and editing a little bit of um, the massing. But you also see me here increasing the resolution. Uh, you always have to remember once you're um, at this stage of the design, you would want to increase your resolution just because it could make um, the model look a little bit more crisper uh, as you start kind of um, sculpting it. Um, anyways, so yeah, I'm going to meet you guys back in a bit once I'm done with the details and the surface articulation and um, yeah, talk about some stuff. All right, so this is at the halfway point of where I'm happy with um, in terms of the details and the articulation. But I wanted to show you guys this where I'm kind of creating the railings for the skylight or so that you can see it more clearly, the, um, this um, line of um, articulation that I would like to have um, along the surface uh, or along the top of the volume. Um, but yeah, um, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I'll meet you guys back when this is fully done.
All right, so at this point, the model is pretty much done. I'm, I'm pretty much done working with volumes at this point. In the next episode, you'll see me kind of work with volumes here and there, but mostly it'll be kind of stretching and um, kind of working with the surfaces just to put it at this like perfect position or like uh, just to uh, shape it into a better um, position, but yeah. You seem to be adding some of the ground rocks and um, just really establishing kind of the environment for it. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much um, what I ended up with uh, in this video. Um, see you guys back next time um, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial series.